So there's been a lot of people that have been asking me to cover this game and uh, well, I've actually really been avoiding it because to be honest, it just doesn't look that good at first glance. And the only real reason as to why I'm actually covering it now is because the developers had actually added me on Twitter while I was in the shower, while I was thinking of how I was going to cover this game, funnily enough. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a closer look at Tactical Squad SWAT Stories. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new and ding that bell so that you can keep up with more of my content or any news that comes out on the channel. All right, let's get into it. So what exactly is this game? Well, according to their Steam's description, it says, in Tactical Squad, you take command of an elite special forces unit, issue orders to your SWAT team, manage its members and their equipment, but most importantly, complete your mission successfully, follow your specialists into a number of high risk operations that will test your tactical abilities. So that's pretty vague, not really too much to go off on that. But I mean, if there's anything to really take away from this, I guess it would be, does SWAT count as special forces? I mean, I guess chat can let me know down below. But looking at one of the pictures of the supposed SWAT team that's gonna be pushing in, those don't look like any SWAT team I've ever seen. I mean, the dude in the middle straight looks like Honk from Resident Evil and not like your average SWAT officer. But all these guys here are definitely bot assets, like for sure. I'm not saying that bot assets are a bad thing, but it really depends on how they use them. So I guess we'll find out more once we take a look at this video. But for now, I'm gonna say that this right here is already a red flag because they're showing off bot assets on the Steam store. And generally, whenever that happens, it's never a good sign. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, that death animation though. Oh my god, did you see that? That was a shit ton of freaking recoil right there. Holy cow. Also, it doesn't look like he's actually shooting where he's aiming. Another thing that I want to point out is that it kind of looks like the guy begins to move before he actually gets shot, and the blood actually shows up way after you shoot him. Oh, this feels heavily scripted to me. Whoa, look at the way she's running at the top of the stairs there. Whoa. Oh my god. Again with the big ass recoil. That walking path. What is that walking path? Was this guy like standing here the entire time and then he kind of just like walked around the freaking thing here? And is this like actual player playing or is this like a bot and he's just like putting his camera on the bot? I don't know. But I feel like that guy was standing there and they didn't notice him until he actually like walked around the bed. This is very scripted by the way. Oh my god, did you see that? Was that their attempted animation? Look at the way he puts his hands up. It's like he's about to freaking break dance right now. Don't worry, Gato. Oh my god, the way that that dog ran right there, did you see that? How come we don't even see any handcuff animations? Like, they show the freaking dude here, like, all these guys are staring at him, and then they cut to guys that are actually, like, handcuffed. Is it just because they don't have a handcuff animation? They could've had one on the acid store? And there's a guy that's dead here, apparently. No blood. Gunshot wounds that I can see. Oh, that horrible dog animation, though. Tactical Squad SWAT Stories. That's like a jumble of words right there, by the way, for the name of this game. Tactical Squad SWAT Stories. SWAT Squad Tactical Stories. Squad SWAT Stories Tactical. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's like a jumble of words. Like, it seems like they're actually just trying to pander to us instead of actually trying to look for a game name. But maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Who knows? Ugh. What the hell am I looking at? It's like some sort of Playboy mansion right here. Looks like a vomit of acids. Why is she wearing a gas mask? Everybody else seems to be wearing some sort of party mask. Does she like know what's about to go down? Also, there's a couple of reused NPCs here. Another thing that I noticed about this is that none of them are actually moving their lips. Like they're just like flailing their hands all around. You see that? Yes, yes, this is how we talk. We're humans. You know something I just noticed? I think there's actually a gunman at the top left right here. Yeah, I think that is a gunman, yeah. What is this water animation? It looks like somebody put this in post. That looks nasty. And then you see these guys walk across the screen here, all using the same animations and walking like that. Wow, this guy got really tall to open that door. This level does not feel proportional. Open it. Yeah, it looks like they could literally hit their heads on the frickin' ceiling if they decided to stand up. Yes, sir. 
That just looks so awkward. So again, this feels extremely scripted. Like that guy is not showing any freaking motion or anything. The only guy that seems to be showing motion is the guy that's out to the left. Like my guy, the way he's holding his shotgun, he's so goddamn stiff. He's as stiff as a mannequin. He's not gonna freaking move. He's like holding a turban or something. So this guy's more interested in the uh, ass shaking than the actual suspect with the gun. Got it. Wait, why is there already smoke in here? What is he throwing? Looks like he's throwing a smoke grenade and there's already smoke in the room. And this seems like the only place that they're actually breaching in, so how the hell did the smoke already get in there? There was already smoke in here. Alright, well whatever, we're, gonna, we're about to see that gunplay. Now that was like, like he just put the camera on the bot and the bot obviously saw the bad guy and he just flung towards him and he started shooting at him. Keep in mind, there's no freaking recoil here. There is no recoil as he's shooting this dude. That's just like straight up laser beam. What is with this? Is this sex dungeon shit? weird like what an odd choice to choose a freaking like a playboy mansion with a sex dungeon like what the frack all right so let's talk about it real quick so all the footage is extremely short it looks heavily scripted i just talked to somebody and they said that everything in this trailer is definitely not made in house it's all assets i can't really say how well they're put together but uh they definitely don't look like they took a lot of time to do it they don't show any actual arrest probably because they didn't actually have the animations for it there's just a bunch of like quick shots of people shooting at each other which i mean if this is going for like a swap 4 type of deal then they're already failing because the point of swap 4 is for you to not kill anybody like it's supposed to be a game that discourages you from killing people and from what i could see they just shoot on sight there's maybe like one or two times when we saw them actually say something and it just looked heavily scripted like those arrests definitely don't look like something that's actually going to be in the game so is it a scam well it definitely ticks a lot of the boxes but i guess i'd really have to play a demo just to really see for sure there is one more trailer here so let's take a look at that before i decide to get off of this video here all right let's see what's going on with this Reach and clear on it. That was ridiculously fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, Hobo Joe. What game is this? This is not the same game that I freaking saw in the last video. Like, all of a sudden, we're in, like, a hallway that's way more down-to-earth than freaking Playboy Sex Dungeon over here with ass shaking with completely different SWAT uniforms. Like, that is not the same SWAT uniform that we saw in the previous vid. This is not the same one that we saw on the freaking website. So what is that? I mean, this video still looks scripted, but definitely better presentation, I'll tell you that. And why is this guy saying yes, sir, in the beginning? Yes, sir. Like, what did he do to say that? God, this aim thing just looks like it's slapped on his face. Like, it doesn't feel like something that's actually out in the world here. I will kill you. And then you see these two guys right here. I, I'm not sure what this guy's looking at. Like, I guess he should be more stacked up on the wall here. And same with this other guy. Reach and clear. It's like, holy shit, slow down. What the f*** did he just do there? Okay, deploy. C2. DS gas, stinger, flashbang, and all this. Reach and clear on it. Wait. What? Breach and clear. Breach and clear. Hold on a second. Let me get this straight. So he gave the order to put a C2 charge. Okay, that makes sense. But the character that you have here says breach and clear. And then... On it. And then he opens up this thing again and, and then he clicks clear. So he gave the order to breach, but he didn't give the order to actually clear. So the guy said breach and clear when he was only supposed to say breach. Does that make sense? This is scripted. So that was added in probably during the editing process. And these guys are like not even doing what the freaking audio is is saying right here. This was added in in post for sure. Drop the gun. Yeah, the no, 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 fam. That's not at all what they're doing. 
Alright, well, compared to the first trailer, this definitely feels more like a passion project rather than a scam, but again, it's hard for me to know because I don't have a demo of it, because any Joe Schmo can put a bunch of assets together, but to not know how it plays leaves me in the dark. I mean, there was a lot of scripted stuff and a lot of things that have definitely felt out of place, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a scam? I'm definitely leaning in that direction, but I haven't tried it. But you let me know down below, because I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like these, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my patreon or try out the join button that's down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so you can get more of my content i post pretty frequently gotta be honest and uh yeah that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye